Welcome to this short message. My name is Patrick Stonehewer and I'm a minister in the Methodist Church in North and North West Bristol and into part of South Gloucestershire. Some of you may recognise me because I was also a partner for 27 years before entering ordained ministry five or six years ago. I've still got many friends who work in the partnership, not only in IT and in Waitrose supply chain, but through the many connections I made through the sailing club. I've been asked by Adnan to say something to mark the end of Ramadan, and so on behalf of everyone in the church, I say to you, Muslim or not, Eid Mubarak, God's blessing at this time. You might find it strange that a Christian minister is being asked to pass on blessings at the end of Ramadan. But I'm reminded that, of course, Judaism, Christianity and Islam all share a common heritage. And as God's people, we all share a common heritage as well. In the current season of life, we've been reminded about the common heritage that we all share as God's people. And even in the simple acts of neighbourliness and giving thanks for key workers across our country and for those close to us who are supporting us in many ways. Many religions, of course, observe times of prayer and of fasting like Ramadan. In the Jewish tradition, the period of Yom Kippur, and in Christianity, that of Lent. They're all times to reflect, to stop, and to pray, and to think about who we are, and who God is, and our relationship with ourselves and God, and with one another. Some of you listening and watching this will, I know, have been on furlough from work. And perhaps that's given you time to reflect, even though it might, might have been enforced upon you, and to look at your relationship with one another, with those around you, and even with your colleagues. And as some of you begin to prepare to return for work, that might bring some anxieties, but equally to remember the blessings of those you work with. And so, as you listen to this, I pray for God's continued blessing for you and for those you work with. And as I close, just some words from one of the Psalms in what Christians refer to as the Old Testament. For Jews, it is their main scriptures. But just two or three verses from Psalm 139. And I encourage all of you to go and look that up. Just look on the internet and find it. Psalm 139, the beginning. O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. And then a verse from later in that same psalm. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and I know that very well. To each of you, I pray for grace and for peace.